my baby. I'm Dana Denha. And I'm Keaton Cross. And this is Adventures in Crafting. Today we're making cat portraits. In honor of our little stinkers. Cookie and Zygman. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a background for our cats. So we got a canvas, we picked out some paint colors, and Kiki and I are just gonna paint a background, whatever we wanna do, it doesn't have to be anything, it can just be colors, it does not matter. The ones we did before, I just made circles, Kiki made a sunset. So it's really whatever your imagination wants to create on a canvas. So, shake up your paints. I don't like to leave a canvas just blank, like even if I'm using white, I still wanna paint it white because it, paint has a different texture than just the canvas. So I am using white and I'm gonna use white first and I'm gonna paint it white with my roller. So I got this little roller that I like to use. And it kind of gives a cool effect, the roller. It's hard to tell with the white, but you'll see it with the other colors. Yeah, it's sort of sparkly. Yeah. So now I'm gonna take some black. I'm gonna roll it over what I just painted on my white canvas. get this paper down here to save our table and I can use it as like sort of a napkin. So I'm just going to paint a few directions with this black, create sort of an expressive background, leave a little bit of white in it, whatever seems like a good idea to you. While Kiki is painting the rest of her canvas, I'm going to set mine off to the side and I'm going to let it dry a little bit. And I'm going to get some scissors and some foam paper and I'm gonna cut out just shapes to create our cat. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. I think I'm gonna do a green base cat and I'm just gonna cut a rectangle out for its head and body. You just have to think of everything in shape. Now that we have our canvas painted and we have our shapes cut out, we're gonna start making these shapes into a cat. So we got our glue, and we can just start gluing, and put a decent amount of glue on it, you don't want it to pop up at all. This is my cat body. We got some cute little ears. And like I said, just think of everything in shapes, and that'll help you figure out what shapes you need for the cat. So like obviously you just need triangles for ears. And then I created sort of like a puffy chest for my cat that I'm gonna put down here. And we're just using Elmer's glue today. I found it was the easiest thing to do for this craft. I prefer the clear. I think Kiki does too. And one of Kiki's favorite pastimes is what with glue? What do you like to do with glue, Kiki? Peel it off my hand. Yeah, she likes to peel it off like it's skin. You can make whatever you want. You can have a mouth, you can have a collar. We actually made two different versions. The last version looked pretty different than these ones. And for the whisker pads, I just cut like a line and then cut like tiny little squares. And then these are just lines. Kiki made her own, Kiki cut most of her own stuff. Think of it more like a, you're not making a realistic cat, it's like a cartoon. Yeah. This craft isn't one of the quicker ones, but it's fun. It takes a little bit of time. You can uh, walk away from it, come back again if you want let your canvas dry so you could do that one day and then the next day or a couple days later you could finish it off by actually creating your cat and then just to finish it up uh, Kiki made like a little C for hers which is really clever D for cookie and I'm gonna make a Z for Zygmunt are you ready to show them yeah. all right well these are our cat portraits look at how cute yeah. We can hang them in Ziggy and Cookie's room if they had one.
thank you so much for joining us on this adventure in crafting. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn that notification bell. Peace out!